This image is a real mess. It's got one of the worst blue-green colour cards you're ever likely to see, and it's not an uncommon thing with images taken underwater. But this is a great chance to demonstrate a way of fixing really, really badly destroyed images with bad colour casts. Now, the first thing I want to do is go to the Channels palette and have a quick analysis of what the problem is. Blue channel? Mm, not great, but it's OK. Green channel? Yes, still usable. The red channel? is a nightmare. Look at that. It's almost completely black. There are practically no usable red pixels in here at all. Now, what does this mean? Practical terms, if I try and correct this image using a levels adjustment layer, which I'll just put down here, and using one of our classic techniques of going channel for channel to both correct the lighting and colour casts in the image, you'll find that when we get to the Red channel, oh dear, that's not a very good looking histogram, is it? I'll drag it in, and I just get static. Now the reason for this is pretty clear. In the channel itself, the red channel, I'm trying to adjust the luminosity values of the pixels in this channel. But I've got no pixels here to work with. It's just all gone. It's almost completely black. So what I need to do is to try and steal pixels from a channel that is in usable condition, like the green channel, which is in pretty good shape. This is the time we call for the channel mixer to correct this. So I'll turn it all back on, go back to layers, and we'll add in a channel mixer adjustment layer. And the channel that's a mess is the red channel. So I'm going to pull in from the green channel a lot of pixels to adjust the red balance and improve it and bring back some color saturation. And look at that, it's all starting to appear in the image as red pixels. This almost seems a bit like voodoo, but it does work pretty well for a lot of different types of image. I'll even exaggerate this, I'll pull this all the way up to 130. And it's got a bit of a red color cast now, but eh, don't worry about that, we'll fix that in a second. Now, to try and compensate for this exaggerated 130%, I'm going to pull down the blue channel to about minus 30, and that should look a little bit more balanced. Problem is, of course, the red channel, which is, for all practical purposes, a dead channel. I can now make a little adjustment in here, just to fine-tune the surviving elements of red that were in that channel, like the snorkel tip, and maybe a little bit of that regulator there, and some of the bubbles just to fine-tune that a little bit so I can at least use some of the existing red pixels so it looks something like reality. Now it looks pretty murky but this is actually pretty good. I'll say OK and let's compare. This is the original and this is the channel mixer correction. Now that's not too bad. The big problem remember was we just didn't have any colour pixels but now we've got some colour back. Alright, now, just for fun, we'll finish this as a complete project, so we'll add in a Levels Adjustment layer, and we can now do our classic Levels Repair by going channel for channel, pulling in the histogram dark and light pixel point markers so they touch the edge of the histogram for all three channels, and we should get a considerable improvement in both the colour and the contrast inside the image. That's looking not too bad at all. Now if you want to be a bit fancy about this you might want to fool around because it's taken underwater in this case you might want to fool around with the midpoint slider for the blue channel so you can fine-tune that to make it a little bit leave a little bit of blue in there or just ex enhance the blue that's in there so it's still clearly underwater. Not very much is needed though. We'll say OK. Now that's looking pretty good already. One last thing that we can do, and this is a nice little trick, add in a hue and saturation layer. By adding in a hue and saturation layer, we can improve the saturation of the colours of the image. Now, if you were to pull on the saturation slider for the master, this would increase saturation for everything. And that's not really what you want to do on this image, because it's going to look a little bit uh, yellow and a little bit strange. So what you should do, I'll just set that back to zero, is go for individual colours. Now things that could stand some improvement in here would be the blues. So I'll just increase the saturation on the blues just a little bit. 
So that glove, the mask, a little bit of blue tone in the water is just improved a little bit. The cyans, which are also in the blue region, can also be improved a little bit. And you'll mainly see this in the colour tone around the bubbles, in the light area. So it's a very light blue, so I'll bump that up a little bit. Go into the yellows. That's the blonde hair. can be improved a little bit. Don't have to go in very hard, but just a little bit for this. It's also going to affect some of the lichens that are on those rocks. And we'll go to the reds and see if we can improve the red saturation a little bit. We won't get get very much change in here, but you can see it's quite extreme when it does cut in. But just see if you can improve a little bit of the tone in there, particularly on the orange regulator down there, which I happen to know is that shade of orange. And attention to the snorkel tip. So that's just improved a little bit, I think. And I think I'll say OK. Now the green channel I haven't really filled around with for this, for playing with the greens. You can if you want to, but I tend to think it probably looks better if you leave it alone. I can't see any significant improvement, but hey, do this image for image, find something that works for you, and I'll say OK. So that's got quite an improvement to that image already. Now, if you want to try a little experiment, and this is one I do recommend, is for an adjustment layer for hue and saturation, particularly one where it's so weak like this one with so poor contrast and so poor brightness levels, try changing the blending mode to something that's going to improve it, like multiply. It'll make it very dark, but ooh, look at those pixels. Aren't they nice and rich and solid now? So you can then just dial in with the opacity slider, bring that back to zero, just dial in an exact amount of opacity for a multiplied hue and saturation layer. You can of course use layer masks and paint this in, but I think that makes a really big difference to the quality of the image overall. Okay, so let's take a look one final time. Here is our before, and here is our corrected after image with a bit of channel mixer magic and some levels and hue and saturation.